we all perceive time to flow forward. We can see this in how the world around us works. You smash an egg, it always falls to pieces, but we never see it reassembling itself. We light paper on fire to see it burn to ash, but we don't see the ashes reconstruct themselves into paper. There's a directionality to these processes, our idea of forward in time. Interestingly, the fundamental laws of physics don't have any mechanism built into them to indicate a direction of time. There's nothing at all in the laws of physics that would prevent an egg from reassembling itself if we were to run the time in that process in reverse. In fact, even more generalized laws, like the law of conservation of energy, are also not violated when these processes run in reverse. Yet, we don't ever seem to see the processes happen in reverse. Why? It comes back to entropy. The chance for the system to rearrange itself spontaneously back into its well-ordered low entropy form is improbable. Negligible, really, essentially zero. Entropy is really our only measure of time's directional flow, and it explains the unidirectionality of all of these processes. This can also help us to answer a question like, could we encounter someone who is traveling backwards in time while we are moving forward in time? Well, imagine a simpler example in which we've engineered a situation, like launching a few particles to start aggregating towards each other, all heading in a path toward lower entropy. The problem is that we'd need to have complete control over all of these particles, and moreover, it's a temporary fleeting effect. When those particles are left on their own, they will ultimately move back to disorder and increasing entropy. In fact, even a slight perturbation to those particles from the outside world will again destroy this experiment and result in increased entropy for that system of particles. So is there any chance that someone with all of their biological processes and associated microstates be made to move against increasing entropy and the second law of thermodynamics? The answer is no.